Good morning, church. Welcome to worship. Stand with us if you would. Let's enter into his presence with singing. Let's lift up his name today. Join us as we sing.
the screen for a video about last week's Vacation Bible School. If you were a part of Vacation Bible School in any way, shape, or form, would you just stand up real quick? Go ahead, stand up, stand up. All right, thank you. It was a truly incredible week. You saw there were 15 baptisms. Um, we're excited about that. Uh, Costa Rica, uh, they also had their Vacation Bible School. They had one baptism. Uh, we're going to have a lot of baptisms today and in the weeks to follow, over 40 kids profess faith in Christ for the week. Amen. Amen. So I want you to keep praying and uh, I'm going to do a brief education. We're talking about how many baptisms? 600 baptisms. Several people have said, man, we've got a long time till December. We're going to hit it. Well, it doesn't really work like that. We're on an associational year. So the associational year is September 1st to August 31st. So, try 31 days in August, right? Something like that. Something like that. 32, August 32nd, something like that. But anyway, um, so we just have until the end of August um, to reach that number. So you guys, a lot of you have a card and you've been praying, and hopefully the majority of you, we've already prayed past uh, your person. But today we, we sit at 558 baptisms. Amen. That's good. <laughs> And so you keep praying, so we have till the end of August. So we've got baptisms a day, so just really continue to be in prayer. And thank you for praying. We talked about one of the things that we think has made this year different um, is that everybody has that card as a reminder uh, to be praying for that person uh, who's going to be baptized. So like I know uh, I have... My card is 599, Steve has 600, and you know we don't know as of yet who those people are going to be, but we're praying because God knows. So just continue to pray about that. Um, also, if you are a first-time guest, we want to invite you to text WELCOME to 270-232-2350, and if you'll text WELCOME uh, to that number, uh, you'll get some information about the church. I also want you to know, uh, you always hear about the marriage advance. We do a huge marriage advance every November, and as of today, there are only slots for six couples left for today. So if you know that you're interested and you want to know more about the marriage advance, there's a desk out in that atrium and you can get more information about us. So Pastor Steve and Elizabeth lead that retreat. Um, it's a great time. So we want to let you know because probably in the next couple of weeks, all those spots uh, will be filled up. So let's stand together. I want to remind you, um, as you feel so led, as we continue in worship, make your way to one of the communion stations. They are in the back, each side of the balcony and up here on each side in the front. Um, people always ask, who's communion for at this church? Because different churches do it in different ways. We just try to be biblical about it. 
um, communion is for those who've been saved, right? So if you're a believer, communion is for you. It doesn't matter if you're a member here or anything like that, or even if you're a guest visiting today, if you're a believer, uh, communion is for you. So let's pray. And after we pray, we'll continue to worship and you make your way to one of those stations. Father, we come to you and Lord, we just thank you for who you are. Lord, we thank you for the cross and the resurrection. And Lord, we thank you this past week. Lord, that we saw over 40 kids bow a knee to you. And Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, that you save those children. You've forgiven their sin. Lord, and I pray you just continue to lead them and guide them. And so Lord, help us to be a church that nurtures that and the children that are here. So Lord, we ask you to bless the elements of communion. Remind us as we break that bread that your body was broken for us. And as we dip the bread into that cup, that your blood was poured out for us. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for who you are. It's in your name we pray. Amen.
for you. Did you know that you had done some things that were wrong and that separated you from God? Yes. And do you believe Jesus came to this earth, he lived a perfect life, and he died on the cross for your sins? Yes. And if you ask him to be your Lord and Savior and forgive you? Yes. All right. I'm going to have you stand back, Mr. Beckett, just for a second, okay? Jackson, it is on your profession of faith that I now baptize you in the name of God the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be buried in Christ and risen in Christ. All right. Mr. Daniel's going to baptize Beckett, and then we're going to pray for him together. All right. Beckett, you'll face this way towards Mom. I've got the same questions for you, buddy. Did you know that there's some things that you had done wrong? Did you know that, that wrong, those wrong things separated you from God? Did 
you know that God sent his son Jesus to live a perfect life and die for you so that you all can be together again? Yes. Have you asked him to be in your heart? Yes. Is he there? Yes. All right. Beckett, it's on your profession of faith that you do this part. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Be buried yes. and risen. Yes. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for Jackson and Beckett, God, and we thank you for what you've done in their lives, and God, we thank you for what you're yet to do in their lives. God, we just pray that they would be deeply grounded and rooted in you all the days of their life, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Hillview. Welcome with me, Ava, into the water. Everyone that comes through this water is extremely special to us, but Ava is a little bit more special to me because, you see, Ava's mom was one of my students as a youth minister. Second thing is, is when I got here, just a few weeks in after coming here, I got to dedicate Ava to the Lord during child dedication on Tuesday night. Ava and I had a conversation, didn't we, sweetie? Mm -hmm. During that conversation, I asked you questions, some questions, didn't I? I asked you, did you admit that you were a sinner? And you said, yes. You said yes. And I asked you if you believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. And you said, yes. And then I said, Ava, will you commit your life to him? And you said, yes. And you, because you've answered all those questions, yes, it's my pleasure today to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Pray with me. Father, it's great to see how you work. Father, it's great to allow you to, to use us at intersections in our lives. And Father, I thank you for this intersection with Ava. I pray you would bless her. Father, as she grows to know you more, Father, I know that you will use her in a great mighty ways. Lord, bless her, bless her family. I love them so much, in Jesus' name, amen. Would you welcome with me Isabel into the baptistry? Isabel, you've heard those questions already, and you, you said a couple of weeks ago you've made this decision to follow Christ. So is there a place in your life where you know that you were a sinner? Yes, sir. Do you know that, have you come to a place in your heart where you trusted Jesus as your Savior? Yes, sir. And have you committed your life to follow Him? Yes, sir. And it's on that, it's on that confession that we baptize you this morning. Buried with Him and raised with Him. <laughs> Father, what a glorious day to see the waters stirred. We pray your blessing, your richest blessing on Isabel this morning. Father, as she enters into the eighth grade this year, Father, may you make her a great beacon for you in Drake's. God, would you just bless her and use her, but more than anything else, Father, would she grow in you and be transformed into the lady that you've called her to be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now welcome with me Lucas and Dad Matt into the water this morning. All right, Lucas, we've asked some questions this morning, and I've got some questions for you, all right? Do you, have you come to a place where you know that you were a sinner? And do you believe that Jesus is the Savior of your sin? And will you, will you commit to follow him the rest of your days? Guess what, Lucas? It's on that confession of faith that we're going to baptize you this morning. So, Dad, you've got the honors. May you be buried with him and risen with him. Amen. How about that, church? Pray with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you that family's important. I thank you for Matt standing in the water with his son, and I thank you for his, Matt's dad that's a, a committed follower of you. And Lord, I pray this day that you would bless Lucas as he comes up out of this water. Lord, that he would be radically, this water would remind him that he was radically transformed. 
and that he would stand strong in faith. Lord, allow him to be a mighty witness for you. And Father, we just thank you for the saving grace of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Great day to be here, right, church? Awesome to see that. Let's pray together for our time of tithes and offerings. If you join me in that, let's pray. God, thank you that the waters are stirring here at Hillview. Your spirit is moving. God, I thank you that we are all a part of that this morning. I pray for this time of tithes and offerings as we worship you in this way, God, that you would be blessed and honored as we continue to serve you. I pray for the remainder of this service, God, that you would speak to your church today. In your name we pray. Amen. Jesus. 